off to jail. Fury is Harry Condoria stealing his money in the midnight. Meg trembles as Harry calls police to arrest Doria for stealing his money at midnight. From what I hear, Doria and Harry don't get along at all. My acquaintance knew one of Megan and Dory's close friends, who was equally appalled by how poorly and abusively they treated him. Dory and Megan knew it was best to avoid leaving obvious traces. However, they were not naive and secretly obtained evidence that he threatened and attacked again when drunk. Megan has loose lips. Doria behaves as if this is her home in Montecito and is a drug-addicted, petty dictator. My friend said that what he heard was that Doria was intentionally getting Harry into things like drugs and that it was because of her that he became so addicted to drugs. One user on Reddit said the only reason Doria exists is to provide drugs to the frog. Miss Raglan seems to enjoy a debauched lifestyle that could be because the money from Harry is running out and Doria is looking to make her own deals. The union between mother and daughter will not last like everything else in her life. It'll be interesting to see who spills the beans first. It can also be part of preparing for divorce. A blind column also continues with new rumors that Meghan's mother stole Harry's private income from his company. Better sources previously said Harry received a higher seven-figure salary for his role as the mental health company's chief impact officer despite doing no work beyond the leak that Harry always suspected Doria had taken his money. That's why he refused to allow Doria to reside at home in Montecito without him. There, many people on social media believe that Doria will follow the same path as anyone who has been close to Megan over the years. Once she's no longer useful, she will be marked. They figured that she would be kept at least until after the divorce. Megan would need her to testify about Harry's anger, legal drug use, and anything else that she had accused her of, blaming him for the marriage. Quote, I hope there might be more to Doria than that because she seems like a very shady person, said one user on Reddit. The fact that Tom Bauer, a very reliable source, said Doria played a truly sinister role in all of this was a big red flag to me. Who is this woman? Where is she going? Ten years? I have some theories. Her address was traced to areas with women's prisons and an address operated by the New York Department of Corrections. What substances did she use a lot? And is she trading? Tom Bauer can make this important point clear. She's still using and dealing these drugs around, Lily and Archie even. This is a woman who came out and publicly defamed the British royal family. I think it's time for her to come under a little more scrutiny. Another said Doria holds an extremely important card. Her presence adds credibility to Meghan's discriminatory claims. She's also the only member of Meghan's family that actually talks to them. It would be terrible to cut her off. Meghan keeps the abandonment card. She can denounce Doria at any time and detail any of the shady business dealings or reveal where she has been during the 10 years that Doria did not raise her.